Uh, let's go right now back to your ring of dingies. Let's talk to Robert in my home state of Texas. Deep in the heart of Texas, the stars are bright. And big blue sky, or is it deep in the night? Deep in the heart of Texas. I forget the song now. Robert, you're on the air. Go ahead. Well, it is a beautiful day in Texas, and thanks for having me on. Great show today. Um, you know, I really feel like this Occupy Bilderberg protest will be the biggest protest in the history of Bilderberg's 58-year run. There's been a long time coming, and we may never come this way again. This is a big deal. Well, I think it's important for people to, you know, even now, this, you know, it's right around the corner, but even now I think it's important for people to get on social net networking sites, get it, get online, get uh, look, look in your community to see if there's people trying to put together uh, carpools. You know, it, this will definitely be the one to be at. Oh, don't resist. Active. Roll over it and die. You don't have any power. The truth is you've got incredible power, Robert, and they know it. What do you think about all the trolls and the Autobot uh, megaphones, the Pentagon admits, saying protesting does nothing. Really? They fought to say Bilderberg didn't exist. Now the mainstream horror media has to admit it exists. How big of a defeat is that for them? Well, you know, the, the fact that they're having to pull gimmicks and pull antics and, and basically, like you said, they cheat, uh, you know, in, in how they handle their information and, and how they uh, brainwash people. Uh, it's important for people to now ignore what they're doing as, as rebuttals because they're all empty. Uh, every attempt that they have to discredit us is empty. Uh, and just focus your energy on, on spreading the information about Bilderberg and, and helping push it farther into the mainstream because it's already going mainstream. And they've... Uh Literally, 10 years ago, they said it didn't exist. Five years ago, they said, ah, there's, their kooks doesn't exist. The New York Times, four years ago, said I was insane and was at Chantilly, Virginia, covering it and that nothing was there. Now they've got to admit it exists, but be condescending. Watching the public sit there while they condescended us like we're idiots is, is, is ridiculous. The sleeper is awakening. The trance is breaking. Do you agree with me? I absolutely agree with you, and, and, and to build on what you just said, uh, we can't let it escape people's memory that the position on Bilderberg has been, it doesn't exist. We can't let people forget that they lied about its existence up to this point, as they tried to call it just a brainstorming session or a think tank or, or something like that. We have to remind yeah, people Yeah, first that it didn't exist, then it was no big deal, and like, yeah, they're making decisions. Technocrats are running Europe. Aren't you glad they're saving you? Yeah, well, you know, it's like Big Jim says, you know, good deeds are done in the sunshine. God bless you. You've made some stunning points. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Mike and Padre? Uh, well, uh, just thanks for having me on, and uh, hopefully there will be at least a 1,000 people at this protest this year. God bless you. Absolutely. Look, they had over a 1,000 people. Aaron and uh, Watson were there last night in the middle of nowhere in the high mountains they were on top mountains with only like one more mountain above them at like you know 9000 feet in switzerland and the globalist tucker sources said we're like what? they have money to protest shut down the economy more that's the oligarchical uh, instinct is to shut down make people poor so that they're so poor they've got to stay in their mud hut so they can't come protest you while you're behind your armored walls that's feudalism but over the four days, at one point, Aaron said there were over 600 people. And that's our problem is we're not coordinated, but it doesn't matter. That's also our strength. It's our weakness, also our strength. I think we're going to have two, 3,000, quite frankly. I feel something big's about to happen. They may even crap their pants and pull out and not do it. Four years ago at this same hotel in Virginia, Madeleine Albright pulled in, was yelled at because people recognized her, that slaves knew who she was. She began panicking and drove out, freaking out. Again, when you identify and see the vampire, or like they live, when, when I got one that can see. If you want an American... All right, my friends, thank you for joining us. We're into the second hour. The toll-free number is 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. I am broadcasting from the InfoWars bus, the War Wagon, Made in America, Newell uh, bus. It is fantastic to be here with you today. And, yes, I just product placed. They're not a paid sponsor, but I do like to promote a few things made in America. 
you know, $22 billion was spent in the last two years to move to Mexico, Eastern Europe, Brazil, and China, the Cadillac and Volt factories, for General Motors. Not just tax incentives. Not just tax incentives. No, my friends, they pay with your tax money to ship our jobs out of the country. This is economic warfare against this nation. This is economic destabilization, a program. A bunch of news coming up. I got to cover this. It's so crazy. Cannibalism comes to South Beach. Police shoot naked man eating face off other naked man. Like a rabid dog, the police said. Good job for the police there. That is coming up and a bunch of serious uh, news. That's a serious report, but this is even crazier. Banning free speech. You won't be allowed to criticize the environmentalists when they want to inspect your house or take your property. And we've got a bunch of other news dealing with the U.N. announcing our own Congress is set to pass the bill. They say they have the votes to hand the Internet over and begin taxation of the Internet to the United Nations. And I guess they'll pass a law saying you can't criticize it. But right now, let's go to Troy, Sean, Karen, Freedom, and others. Troy in Ohio, you're on the air globally. Hey, uh, they announced a quote, new program here in Ohio called Truck Shield. It's, yeah, it's a uh, giant no tattletale program. Yeah, they're, they're, they're training doctors, dentists, lawyers, truck drivers to spy on everybody. But it's not for Al-Qaeda that works for the CIA. It's for good old boys and gun owners, the giant spy society. Go ahead and tell me about it. Yeah, there's an article uh, entitled Ohio Truckers to Help Highway Patrol Keep Roads Safer, Reduce Crime. And they speak uh -huh. about uh, how they're going to have, they're going to, patrol officers are being made available to trucking companies to train their drivers on how to spot and report impaired drivers, crime, homeland security concerns, as well as human trafficking. I just thought that was very well, interesting. You know, I've talked to state police, and, and, and the guy that drives the bus for us was a truck driver for decades. And he'll tell you, state police in Virginia pulled him over and also in Tennessee and said, you know why we pull you truckers over? There's all sorts of fake violations, and we know you're not violent. So, yeah, you can sign up with Homeland Security so they can write you tickets, and you can, you can grovel to them and say, it's patriotic to be a slave, and the cops believe they're writing all these tickets to fund the country when it's all going to foreign banks. Yeah, no, they're, they're trying. Listen, my dad's a dentist. In fact, he, he's over hundreds of dentists. Uh, for a big company, but he used to own his own dental offices. But about a year ago, he got a visit by Homeland Security, and he thought it was just him. He thought, this must be a setup because my son, they wanted him to spy on his patients. And he's like, well, my patients aren't terrorists. They're like, just report on them to us. We're going to pay you money. He said, no, I'm not going to do it. And he went and talked to the other dentist. All of them got Homeland Security visits. It is just the opposite of freedom. But we're supposed to see the new freedom on Memorial Day is celebrate checkpoints, celebrate wiretaps, celebrate drones, celebrate the IRS taking your house with no warrant or no proof, celebrate cancer, celebrate fluoride in the water, celebrate slavery. So, again, I'm anti-American because I'm like George Washington. So uh, tell us about the Homeland Security training. Well, it's, uh, that's basically it. I mean... I, like you said, I could see them, the Highway Patrol, harassing truck drivers, which gives them an incentive to possibly play ball with the snake. No, no, no. They put Marines and you name it. They put congressmen on the no-fly list. No judge, no jury. You just can't fly, government said. They're now saying there's going to be a no-gun-by list. That's official. Just type in no-buy list. The ATF says they're about to ban almost all shotguns because they feel like it. No law, just, hey, we're God. Now, that was in the news yesterday. Just, hey, we're God. And uh, they're saying that they'll do whatever they want. And the average person thinks groveling to these people is going to get them out of it. That That's the opposite. Absolutely. That's all I have for you. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. ATF. Give me a break. All these people. Uh, let's talk to Sean in Arizona. You're on the air. Hey, Sean, how's it going there in the uh, prickly pear capital of the world? All right, let's talk Let's talk to Karen in Arizona, another call in Arizona. Hi, Alex. Hey, how Hello. you doing? I hope you're not an evil. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Well, I thought I'd let I you can. know that last uh, December, uh, Emory Riddle Aeronautics came up with Yavapai County to build one of those... Uh, Helicopter drones. 
Well, what's wrong with 30,000 drones to spy on us and look through our walls and have weapons? I mean, that's patriotism. We worship whatever the military does, and we worship them on our streets. Hell, Guatemala and North Korea have the right idea. Have the military on the streets. That's what Memorial Day is about. And also, you Memorial are Day is about the TSA sticking their hands down your pants. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, you are also correct because I heard that the... Uh, Fire Department Union invested into the stock market, their uh, their uh, retirement funds. Oh, yeah. And they're told, and raise more money for the system or you'll get nothing. <laughs> like you said, you know, they're going to take the, your pension funds, and that's exactly what happened. They'll, is they'll that love they it. Invested into, and now, now they're going to have to come up with some money to pay for this... Uh, uh, this money that they lost, you know, investing into the stock and market. And no matter how many tickets or how many citizens they arrest with arrest, uh, arrest quotas, they've got quotas in most departments to actually arrest a mom for no seatbelt to get the kids and put them in the CPS rape room. Uh, you can look that up. And the cops think they're actually funding their pension with it. You're going to get nothing from the bankers. <laughs> That's why this is so good. Even though all these people serve the system like little cowards, they think, oh, we've got a big corrupt system. I better grovel to it. I'll get ahead. You're going to get nothing. <laughs> That's the good news. All these traitors, all these collaborators, all these people that did this, they'll be destroyed as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's also, just good to know they're going to be uh, defeated. This relative of mine, last year his uh, buddy came, his friend came back from Iraq uh, or Afghanistan. And his wife had to uh, run for her life because uh, she was in bed sleeping, and all of a sudden he was he was uh, trying to choke her. And uh, they had to. Well, put that's him unpatriotic. She should have she should have taken a hatchet and first hacked off her hands and her head and gone. I'm patriotic. My husband was in the military, and she should have just taken a hatchet and hacked herself in the head. That would have been patriotic. To run from somebody on a bunch of Pentagon drugs who's killed a bunch of people and is totally mentally ill is unpatriotic. She should have taken an ice pick and just stabbed herself in the neck twenty times, going, "I'm patriotic," instead of running from him. I mean, that was wrong what she did. But they had to put him in the VA psych ward for a while until they got oh. him all straightened out. Until they... Hey, what do you think of them making troops that have arms and legs blown off, forcing them back really, into I combat? I think that's horrible because I have... Uh, I think you're I a conspiracy have, theorist. Disagreeing with the system's conspiracy. Hmm. Well, you know what? Uh, like I said, our uh, ma benevolent mayor is uh, in charge of the Department of Homeland Security facility. Ma'am, you don't. You don't. You, do you trust the government? Do you drink your fluoride water? No, I don't. I have my Berkey water. <laughs> oh my God! You certainly don't get a pro here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a terrible. But listen, I'm, this I'm is horrible. I'm very horrible. Oh, listen. You don't think troops with legs blown off should be forced back into combat after five tours when their contract said two. You don't think they should have their death benefits taken as they've been doing for 12 years. You don't think they should breathe DU and die. You're unpatriotic. Watch football. Do whatever the government says. Drink fluoride. Watch your kids die of cancer. That's patriotic, okay? Okay? <laughs> That's patriotism. Holy mackerel, that woman was dangerous. I appreciate her call. Freedom in California, tell me... Oh, we're going to break, I'm sorry. Freedom's gone. I'm sorry, we can't have freedom on the air. That The, the word freedom is terrorism. Well, that's censored. By the way, if you're a new listener, I'm not joking. Uh, you can look up U.S. News and World Report. Troops with arms and legs blown off or forced back into combat. Five, six, seven, eight tours. But that's okay, everything's fine. It's all coming up straight ahead. I got a big news blitz on a host of subjects. From the road, I'm Alex Jones from Arkansas on my way to Virginia. For a long time, you've heard me talk about building your own. Yes, the head of the IMF.